Chapter 1 Force A. Moment of a force and equilibrium Translational and rotational motions A rigid body, when acted upon by a force, can have two kinds of motion. 1. Linear or translational motion and 2. Rotational motion 1. Linear or translational motion When a force acts on a stationary rigid body which is free to move, the body starts moving in a straight path in the direction of force. This is called the linear or translational motion. For example, in figure, on pushing a ball lying on a floor, it begins to move. 2. Rotational motion If the body is pivoted at a point and the force is applied on the body at a suitable point, it rotates the body about the axis passing through the pivoted point. This is the turning effect of the force and the motion of body is called the rotational motion. For example, if a wheel is pivoted at its center and a force is applied tangentially on its rim as shown in figure, the wheel rotates about its center. Similarly, when a force is applied normally on the handle of a door, the door begins to rotate about an axis passing through the hinges on which the door rests. Moment, that is, turning effect of a force or torque. Consider a body which is pivoted at a point O. If a force F is applied horizontally on the body with its line of action in the direction AP as shown in figure, the force is unable to produce linear motion of the body in its direction because the body is not free to move. But this force turns or rotates the body about the vertical axis passing through the point O in the direction shown by the arrow in figure. That is, the force rotates the body anti-clockwise. Factors affecting the turning of a body On a body, the turning effect of a force depends on the following two factors. One, the magnitude of the force applied and two, the perpendicular distance of line of action of the force from the axis of rotation or pivoted point. Indeed, the turning effect of the body depends on the product of both the above stated factors. This product is called the moment of force or torque. Thus, the body rotates due to the moment of force or torque about the pivoted point. In other words, the turning effect of the body about an axis is due to the moment of force or torque applied on the body. Measurement of moment of force or torque The moment of a force or torque is equal to the product of the magnitude of the force and the perpendicular distance of the line of action of force from the axis of rotation. In figure, the line of action of force F is shown by the dotted line AP and the perpendicular drawn from the pivoted point O on the line of action of force is OP. Therefore, moment of force about the axis passing through the point O is equal to force into perpendicular distance of force from the point O, which equals F into OP. Note, for producing maximum turning effect on a body by a given force, the force is applied on the body at a point for which the perpendicular distance of line of action of the force from the axis of rotation is maximum so that the given force may provide the maximum torque to turn the body. अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं, तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें। Units of moment of force. Unit of moment of force 
is equal to unit of force into unit of distance. The SI unit of force is Newton, yes. And that of distance is meter. So the SI unit of moment of force is Newton into meter. This is abbreviated as Newton meter, NM. The CGS unit of moment of force is dyne into centimeter. But if force is measured in gravitational unit, then the unit of moment of force in SI system is KGF into M and in CGS system, the unit is GF into CM. These units are related as follows. 1 Newton meter is equal to 10 raised to 5 dyne into 10 raised to 2 centimeter, which equals 10 raised to 7 dyne centimeter. 1 kgf into meter is equal to 9.8 newton meter and 1 gf into centimeter is equal to 980 dyne centimeter. Number all these equations as 2. The unit newton meter of moment of force or torque is not written as joule j. However, the unit newton meter for work or energy is written joule j because torque is a vector while work or energy is a scalar quantity. Clockwise and anticlockwise moments. Conventionally, if the effect on the body is to turn it anticlockwise, moment of force is called the anticlockwise moment and it is taken positive. Well, if the effect on the body is to turn it clockwise, the moment of force is called the clockwise moment and it is taken negative. Remember this, the moment of force is a vector quantity. The direction of anti-clockwise moment is along the axis of rotation outwards, while of clockwise moment is along the axis of rotation inwards. On applying a force on a pivoted body, its direction of rotation depends on A, the point of application of the force and B, the direction of force. Thus, the direction of rotation of a body can be changed by two ways. One, by changing the point of application of force. Figure shows the anticlockwise and clockwise moments produced in a disc Pivoted at its center by changing the point of application of the force F from point A to point B. 2. By changing the direction of force. Figure shows the anti-clockwise and clockwise moments produced on a pivoted axle by changing the direction of force F at the free end of the axle. Common examples of moment of force. One. To open or shut a door, we apply a force, push or pull, F, normal to the door, at its handle, P, which is provided at the maximum distance from the hinges as shown in figure. We can notice that if we apply the force at a point Q near the hinge R, much greater force is required to open the door and if the force is applied at the hinge R, we will not be able to open the door howsoever large the force may be. Because for the force at R, torque will be zero. Thus, the handle P is provided near the free end of the door so that a smaller force at a larger perpendicular distance from the hinges produces the moment of force required to open or shut the door. Hmm? Did you understand that? Very good. Let's move ahead. 2. The upper circular stone of a hand flour grinder is provided with a handle near its rim, that is, at the maximum distance from the center, so that it can easily be rotated about the iron pivot at its center by applying a small force at the handle. Common examples of moment of force. 3. 
For turning a steering wheel, a force is applied tangentially on the rim of the wheel. The sense of rotation of wheel is changed by changing the point of application of force without changing the direction of force. In figure, when force F is applied at the point A of the wheel, the wheel rotates anti-clockwise, while in figure, the wheel rotates clockwise when the force F in same direction is applied at the point B of the wheel. 4. In a bicycle, to turn the rear wheel anti-clockwise, a small force is applied on the foot pedal of a tooth wheel of size bigger than the rear wheel so that the perpendicular distance of the point of application of force from the axle of wheel is large. The tooth wheel is joined to the rear wheel by a chain through their tooth. Common examples of moment of force. 5. A spanner used to tighten or loosen a nut has a long handle to produce a large moment of force by a small force applied normally at the end of its handle as shown in figure. The spanner is turned anti-clockwise to loosen the nut by applying the force in the direction shown in figure while it is turned clockwise to tighten the nut by applying the force in a direction opposite to that shown in figure. 6. A jack screw used to lift a heavy load such as a vehicle has a long arm so that a less effort is needed to rotate it so as to raise or lower the jack. Conclusion From the above examples, we conclude that the turning of a body about an axis depends not only on the magnitude of force, but it also depends on the perpendicular distance of the line of action of the applied force from the axis of rotation. Larger the perpendicular distance, less is the force needed to turn the body. अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं, तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें। ऐसे ही और एजुकेशनल वीडियोस देखने के लिए हमारे चैनल होम रिवाइज को सब्सक्राइब करें।